In this video we're going to look at a three point start. The starting position is similar to that of a standing crouch or block start, i.e. we have one foot behind the other. This is a start that is commonly used for relays, as it allows us to look behind us and see when the incoming runner is approaching, but still maintain a low body position so we can accelerate hard. The distance back from the line will vary very slightly, but is generally fairly similar to a crouch start with your feet slightly closer together than they would be for blocks. Put the arm of the forward foot behind you, quite a long way behind you, so that you can throw it forwards hard when you take your first step. Create an angle of about 90 degrees in the front knee, and if you've got your feet placed correctly, this will create an angle of about 120 degrees in the back knee. Extend at the hips, knee and ankle as fast as you can to push your hips as far forward as possible. This is triple point extension. When our first foot contacts the ground, we should be landing with our foot behind our hips. This should be repeated for the first few steps before we rise up from the drive phase where our foot will begin to land beneath us. If you cannot get your foot to land behind your hips, the force you apply into the ground will be pushing you backwards instead of forwards, therefore slowing you down. The three point start will help to emphasize the arm drive since it is primed to drive through at the start. Comparing the three-point start to the conventional four-point or crouch start, we can see the angles are all the same and the only difference is the arm position. Having the arm up in the set position will help to drive it through with more force. Thanks for watching. Please have a look at some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel to see our future ones. To find out more information about Momentum Sports, have a look at our website and social media pages found in the description below.